What is narcissism? What does society think narcissism is? The word narcissism comes from an old Greek mythological figure, Narcissus, who fell in love with his own reflection. Narcissus was a guy looking for someone to love from all around the world. After rejecting an nymph called Echo, he saw himself on the river and fell in love with himself. He drowned while he was trying to catch himself on the river and a flower marked the spot where he died. And now we call that flower the Narcissus. This story quite explains the meaning of narcissism to us. Narcissists are mostly recognized as attention seekers, self-centered, and even as self-loving people maybe. However, it is not a personality trait nor a choice. Underneath it, most of them don't even actually love themselves. They don't love themselves, but they want the best of everything in their lives. They don't want to be an average person in the society. As a result of craving perfection and admiration, if they feel wrong or imperfect because of a person or a situation, they will try to gaslight and shame the person in front of them, deny that their opinion was wrong, and will support the idea, idea that it was the best. This type of narcissism is called overt narcissism. Overt narcissism is the most recognized type out of two types. Overt narcissists are tend to be aggressive, arrogant, self-assured, and dominant. They are also very extroverted, bold, and attention-seeking most of the times. Also, we can name the subtype as Grandiose Narcissism too. Other than this, some of the narcissists frequently feel like they're the victim. They will always try to victimize themselves. These narcissists might seem like they're envious and reserved, but on the inside, they feel superior. We call them covert narcissists. Covert narcissists are very introverted, insecure, and depressed. But still, they will secretly believe that they are superior to anyone else and will have the exact same traits with any other narcissist. I guess being introverted and reserved does not change much on the inside when it comes to a narcissist. Also, we can name this subtype as vulnerable narcissism too. We talked about all this, but what causes narcissism? Have you ever wondered? Mostly, parents create narcissists. If parents appreciate the child about the child's schoolwork, talents, and so forth, but they just disappear when the child has an emotional need since they weren't taught about emotional needs when they were kids too. In short, receiving too much adoration or criticism can be a huge factor on a narcissist. Yet, the cause of narcissism can be different, including genetic and neurobiological factors. About empathy, narcissists are unable to connect with others' emotions. They constantly fantasize about having power over people. They cannot take criticism well since they want to be perfect. Like I said before, they might just be an answer of arrogance or they might just end up victimizing themselves. Wait, <clears throat> narcissism can affect people's daily lives a lot. Like I just said, narcissistic people won't be able to connect with your emotions. Thus, they may not take them seriously and there is a possibility that they might even make fun of it. Narcissistic people treat you so well when you first meet. However, when you start seeing the discrepancy about them, they will slowly start to love on you more and then gaslight you into thinking that they are not what you're thinking about them. Besides, during the whole situation, they might lie to you a lot. But I still have one more question you can think of. It is from our generation, our decade, you can say. Do you think social media affects narcissism? In my opinion, it does with positive and negative ways. Social media is going to affect narcissists since likes and comments are going to feed their need to be admired. It may or may not make them feel alright, but it can lead to a cycle of temporary satisfaction, followed by the sense of emptiness and dependence. Also, know that these results does not only occur if you are a narcissist, but think about it. Those people you see on social media with perfect livings, perfect looks, might be just like these people too. It is not necessary, of course, but you should consider it for your own sake if you're having trouble with self-love, I'm saying. You can never know what is actually going on in their lives. One last thing. I know that I just talked about this topic, naming it narcissism, but has a personality disorder called narcissistic personality disorder in psychology. In a word, people call it NPD. Sometimes a person with NPD may seek treatment for reasons other than believing they have an issue. For instance, when their relationships or their way of living isn't up to their own high standards. 
Also, know that <clears throat> if this speech reminded you of someone, they don't have to have NPD. Maybe they just have narcissistic tendencies like most of the people we name as narcissists in general, since NPD is a very specific diagnosis to make. But try not to forget the information that I gave you. You probably came across lots of narcissists to this day. Maybe you're a narcissist, but you're not aware. Maybe you're a narcissist, and if you're aware, and if you're trying to heal, I'm wishing you lots of luck on your recovery, but we should get back to the point. You will keep on coming across to them in your entire life. If you're with a narcissist, don't underestimate yourself. Love yourself. If you're expecting more love or more from a narcissist, give the love you expect from them to yourself. This is a quite superficial sentence, I know, but you'll understand it eventually. Thank you.